I'm Martha Carlin, a citizen scientist, but I didn't start out as a scientist. I started out as a numbers person, an accountant, and a financial detective. In 2002, my 44-year-old husband was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, and I took those skills and turned them in to becoming a medical detective. When my husband got diagnosed with Parkinson's at the age of 44, I, I asked myself, like, how does somebody that age get an old person's disease? So I started looking for the numbers because I'm a numbers person. And what I found was the number of people under the age of 40 being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease has more than doubled over the last decade. And over time, I started to see patterns in the life history of people with Parkinson's. The first research paper came out uh, that showed the connection to the two primary types of Parkinson's disease and specific gut bacteria. And I was like, wow, I think this is it. I learned of something called the human microbiome, the trillions of bacteria, fungi, and viruses that live in and on our body, and they function is our internal pharmacy to maintain our health. And, you know, we were raised to think that bacteria are bad, you know, this bacteria, this disease, um, but there are really many helpful microbes in our body and they digest our food, they produce vitamins, hormones, neurotransmitters, and they act as sentinels at the gate when things are in balance to keep us healthy. Uh, but Things are no longer in balance, and we're not healthy. Chronic disease is on the rise, not just Parkinson's. Autism, Alzheimer's, diabetes, obesity, IBS, Crohn's, MS, all of these things are on the rise. And research is showing us connections to the microbiome in every one of these including cancer. What we do out there, it's not out there. Everything is connected. And it's connected, it comes through us. And we're, everything we've done to the outside where we think, oh, we're just dumping a little bit into this river or we're just you know, pumping a little of this out into the air or we're just shooting a little bit of antibiotic into this cow and that it's out there. It's not out there. It's in here, and the microbiome is the evidence of that.